Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jasmine and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, this last one month has seen so many new subscribers and I'm really thankful and I'm really grateful that you think that you want to stick around and watch more videos. Hopefully this one is not going to be that disappointing because I have so many packages to open. But with that said, uh, I ordered a lot of plants over the weekend. It was a stressful weekend. I don't do stressful buying, but there were so many beautiful plants lying around that I was like, I want to get you. I want to get you. Please come to me. Uh, and my partner in crime was none other than my husband. I, I actually told him, you know how eBay works. You have to bid on plants. And so similarly, there is something called Facebook purges. You have to go there, you know, put bids. And he's usually very competitive in nature. And he was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to win this for you. And then I was bidding on one thing and he was bidding on something else. The bo Both the bids were going to end at the same time and he became so competitive. He started putting more money and more money. He didn't realize that the, when the bid ends, you actually have to pay that number in green paper. The first one is a Facebook purge that happened over the weekend. And this is the box. And this should have... Um, Two plants in it, two hoyas in it. Um, it looks like this. It has some stickers, so that's no, just okay. Is it a sticker? Oh, yeah, it's a sticker. See, and then this one really nice. Okay. The first one is hoya. Viola, it looks dehydrated. It's a cutting, so yeah, it needs to be rooted. But the leaf is like, well, you can see the wrinkles over here, right? But that should be fine. I hopefully this one is a little more uh, tight, but this one is like, it's more on the wrinkly side. And let's take a look at the at the stem it has some entry points for the root can you see it you see those nodes there right so it has cool entry points i see root coming up as well so that should be good so yeah that's a hoya viola and i think it's a cross between hoya dekii and hoya colina might be wrong <gasps> The next one is Hoya Perak Malaysia. It's a little curvy right now. Again, I think it needs good hydration. So maybe I'll just put them in a in a bowl of water. It's, it's pretty long. And this one is not rooted at all. I knew that. She told me it's a cutting. And I think I paid, I think I paid $52 for this and then $48 for that one. So those were the two plants that I got from her, two cuttings. And the next package is really exciting because it's a surprise. It's a surprise package. I got this package from Rick from uh, Rick and Swiffer's Hoyas. I've bought from him before and it's always fun to open his boxes because you always get some free freebies, free cuttings. And so this time what I did was I I it should have eight Hoyas and I only know one Hoya. Uh, the Hoya that I know is Hoya. Should I tell you? I should tell you. Hoya Jasper Blink. And uh, you get a couple of Hoyas with it, I believe, like freebies. And then uh, I bid on um, a surprise package. So that was supposed to have two plants and then three uh, bonus cuttings, he said. And then I have one more package for you if you want to stick around. Uh, the last package is going to be some fun pottery that I ordered. It's a really cool terracotta pottery. You guys should see it. That's the package. Um, this has like some information about him 
uh, and then some dis some pointers about the uh, about the hoya. Like he usually the cut when you have a cutting from him, he puts a clip on the side that you are supposed to root. So you know that kind of information is written on the paper as well. So this is the first thing that I see. It says thank you for supporting my small business. Of course. Okay, let's get the party started. Oh, oh, soil, soil all over. Oh, this is a Hoya Elliptica, guys. Oh man, I just ordered this one. If only I knew, but oh, that's a cutting and this one is a full blown plant. I think it's, yeah, it's a, it's a plant. So when I say plant, I mean, it's a rooted. Um, yeah, that's the first one. I had this before, like if you've been with me on my channel for, let's say this year, I got a cutting from, uh, from Ted, Ted Greens, uh, who he, he's in Hawaii. I got it from him. It was a cutting. I was very naive and I killed that one. I'll post a picture somewhere here if I, if I can find one because that one was really pretty but I couldn't root it. This is the Hoya Jasper Blink that I bid on. That's the other one. Oh, there's so much sun here. That's the first leaf and then there's another leaf over here. It's beautiful. I'm so shameless ordering plants all the time. This is not good. But it's the end of the year. It's Thanksgiving month as well. And then it's gonna be Christmas. So it's all good. But not really. I need to stop. I will stop. Okay, this is Hoya Calistophylla Calimantin. There you go. Needs water because it's, it's wrinkly. I have Calistophylla, it's right over there, but then this is Calim, it's a cross between Calistophylla and Calimantin. I mean, both the names are written there, so I don't know. Oh yeah, Coast Fairy. I've heard Coast in some other Hoya as well. It's a very huge leaf. Like this. Leaves are really big. And it's called Hoya. Oh, sorry. Coast Fairy. The next we're gonna open up this package. And A lot of things here. Okay, let's see. This first one is Hoya RHM009. It's huge. It's a bonus cutting. What are these things? A bonus cutting and this is how you put clips so you know you have to root this part and not the other side usually it gets confusing so it's good to have that but look at that um so this is hoya verticillata heart leaf i think it's also called parasitica and this is how it looks like i have a bunch of these but it's always good to have another one that's a beautiful set of hearts. It has cool indentation also here, see? It's definitely more plants than I thought they're gonna be. This is Hoya SP Spur, call it Spur, Hoya Spur EPC301 Black Leaf. And this is gorgeous. Look at the markings, look at the outline on this one and then the indentation here. And it's a big cutting. 
Oh wow, I love this. I want to see it first before I show it to you. It has splash, it has the marking, it has the indentation, it has the sun stress on it. Can you see it? Wow. Oh, this is my favorite till now. Hoya SPSR 2010-49 Fraser Hills. I'll put the name on the screen. Nice. I thought it was a Croniana, but it's not. Look at that. It's a cute one. It looks like a Croniana, but for some reason the growth pattern is kind of different. Look at that. It's it's nice. This is Hoyas per Borneo. Another bonus. It is like paper. Thick. He sent me a Hoya EPC 954 before and this one looks similar but I don't know as long as like until and unless they flower they all kind of kind of look similar some of them please don't get get back to me on that I know not all of them are same but oh nice I like it I like all of them this is Hoya Geneve. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that shape. Long lines, long veins, that shape. This one is slightly dehydrated as well, but if you read through his uh, steps, his instructions, he does say to put them in water for some time so that they can hydrate back. And yeah, that one was my last one. Oh, I'm so happy. I like them all. But you know what? Which one is my favorite? It has to be this one. It's Hoya EPC 9301 Black Leaf. Oh, you're so cute. You're not even cute. You're so statementy. The last package I have... Uh, the terracotta pots that you need if you buy these many plants, right? This is how it is. Um, I ordered three pots and they're all here in one package. Okay, they're small ones. They're like two inch in diameter. I like the fact that they used all paper. And obviously I can reuse that paper and there is no plastic in here, even though this is like pottery. But look at that. So cute. It has a drainage hole. And this is, I believe, 3.75 in diameter, like 3.75 inch. This is from a company called Front, Front Range Studio. I think I learned it from a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Cynthia. If you haven't watched her videos, you should. It's so much fun. And yeah, I think she buys um, pottery from them. I didn't even realize it's going to be that small. Well, look at these. That's a miniature version of the same design. But I can put like a succulent or something in this. And then there's another one. This is like light pink color. It's called Pink Acro or something on, on their website. I'll link it in the description below if you're interested. Not sponsored, not gifted, but just saying like, if you're interested, you can. Well, look at these. So if you've made it till this far, if you watched the video till the pottery part, um, I would like you to put a emoji of maybe some kind of pot. If that's there, or maybe a flower, it's fine. Flower, leaf, well, no, I should stick to one. Pink flower. Let's do pink flower. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you liked all the plants just like I did, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.